Now, testimonies with Pastor Elf Lukau. Shalom family. Greetings in the name of Jesus. I am humbled to have this moment to share my testimony, specifically on the platform of my father, Pastor Alf Lukau. I say after Jesus, my parents are my evergreen testimony. Bishop Celeste Lukau, Pastor Alf Lukau. I have the best parents in the world. They are the best parents in the world and I have it. I have them in Jesus name. So, my testimony is from the year 2022. In July IVP, I was determined. I'm like I am going to go and touch my altar. I didn't have visa. I didn't have the funds. I didn't know how to go about it, but I had faith. So I reached out to Pastor V, I reached out to Mr. Monterio. I mentioning them because the way they supported and encouraged me in the first few steps was actually inspired or maybe say give me the courage to believe that yes I can go. I can go all by myself and touch the altar in Jerusalem. So I took a big step after that. I took my gold and I went to the bank and I loaned it. because i wanted to come to the ivp i applied for my visa but uh, unfortunately fortunately the visa reached me on the last day when the ivp was about to finish and uh, the lord says to me what you have i want you to sow it as your pmo7 so i sowed my pmo7 of 700 pounds i never sowed this amount i never had the courage to go about this and i did it I obeyed. And in 2 weeks family I was enrolled, I was admitted in a highly respected university in UK. After a week I was allotted full scholarship. It took care of my tuition fee, my accommodation, my living expense, all of it. It was around 40,000 pounds. And life actually changed. Things turned around. I was praying for God to take me out of the situation this life the way it's going i'm not liking it i don't know where i'm headed it was just me walking in the dark but things started to fall in place everything just started to be like yes i'm going towards my altar i moved to uk i had the opportunity to fellowship in the branches of ami i'm telling you when you attend church online for years and you get a opportunity to be in a branch it is a blessing from there the doors opened i went to ami south africa jerusalem i met my father i touched the altar people around me were witnesses saying that after you met your father you are different everything about you has changed so god has been good god has been good last year again i sold my pmo7 after seeing what god has done how can you miss it last year i sold double than what i did before I never planned to but when I sowed once the Lord is like give again and I gave again and it's only after months I realized that the Lord was taking me through a process see when the people of God were in Egypt they didn't believe that they can be delivered they didn't believe that there is something outside the slavery similarly I was in such a deep deception that I had believed whatever was happening is my destiny my fate I never knew that I can come out of it And you know when you're in deep deception you can twist the word of God. The chains in my life I took them as thorns in my flesh. So it was it was a bad situation but I had accepted it. But the Lord is merciful. The Lord is so good. He started a process with me and he completely delivered me. He completely set me free and I believe it was because of my obedience with my PMO7. It started right after I sowed it that night on the 7th of the 7th. But it continued till September. It fulfilled through the months. And today when I'm speaking to you, I can say I am free. For something for years that I cried day and night and I accepted that life as life. The Lord knew better. I had my request before the Lord, but he the Lord met me at my needs. I had my wants, but the Lord met me at my needs. And today when I speak to you, I am free. I am delivered. I I am literally looking forward to spread my wings and be all that God has called me to be because he has been so good to me. He I can tell you family, God loves you more than you love yourself. He loves you more than anybody else can love you. So I encourage you 
this time again give your BMO 7 the Lord will do it nothing will remain the same Shalom